Okay guys, it is a Friday and um, they just picked Marcus up. I didn't ask about the baby's appointment because they didn't have much time and it had started raining and so they were like kind of swapping out who gets to go potty and stuff <laughs> because of the rain and they didn't want to take the baby out. But um, I haven't shared anything with you guys today because one, I am not doing any laundry that I know of. <laughs> uh, two, I forgot to turn on the dishwasher last night, so they're washing right now. And um, I haven't done anything else except sit down work all day. That's all I've done is sit at the desk and do things because as I said, I'm down here still. <laughs> As I said, um, the end of the year, I start prepping for all the things. Ooh, y'all be careful. I start, um, I finish up like the budget and all that stuff. We're having breakfast for dinner and I just moved y'all there, but I got to move you again. Y'all are going to just move around a lot. That's just how, let me actually, let me set y'all up here so I don't have to worry about scooting y'all back and forth. Hold on. Okay. I got y'all set up kind of so I can talk to you. Um, I am going to take some of these freezer biscuits that I made and put them in the oven. I've got the oven preheating to 500, so it's going to be a few minutes before it gets there. It's only like at 260 or something like that right now, but I'm going to cook up some of those. And um, after I cook those, or after I get those ready to cook, I'm gonna do some sausage and um, probably some eggs. I don't know, maybe something, I don't know. I really don't know because what we were supposed to have for dinner, we're not doing because we don't want it. We, we just don't, we don't want it. Well, and, and that's okay. We don't have to have everything that we put on our menu. But Jeff and I, speaking of menu, we did sit down last night and we made a menu plan. These are the thin biscuits right here. Why are you flashing? You better stop. I hope it doesn't storm. I'm gonna cook all 12 of these because I know Noah likes them for snacks. And these are rather thin, so we'll see how this goes. They'll cook together a little bit more because they're in the pan the way they are. But I remember my granny always, her biscuits always touched. She didn't ever have them separated whenever she cooked biscuits. And um, so that's all right. And anyway, what am I talking about? I don't know. I've been doing all the desk stuff and doing um, things I don't share with y'all because I don't know how I would share it anyway. It's like closing out the budget. If you don't see everything we do, you don't understand what I'm doing. And I also had to contact our cable company because the bill was higher than it was supposed to be. And they said they had put something in the statement in October, but I didn't notice it. If they did, I don't know because I always shred it. So, I don't have a clue. The stove, it, there was something sticky on this counter, but I didn't realize it until after I had already started putting the biscuits on the pan. I usually check, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. It's weird. That's not me. Um, it was only in one little spot, so I don't know what it was. But there was something on the stove top, and I don't know why I started wiping it with that wipe because that doesn't work. And I still have not forgotten that I said I was going to show y'all those frozen muffins. Um, 
I haven't cooked any of them yet. I'll probably do that sometime this coming week and share that. We're not having muffins today though. And I brought it, brought it up because I'm doing the freezer biscuits. And y'all might be wondering, oh, did she forget us? <laughs> no. But, all right. Got the biscuits ready to go in the oven. I just gotta let it finish preheating. And then I'm gonna get this sausage out of the refrigerator. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I feel all discombobulated. Really bad today. I think part of the reason why is because I have so many things that I want to get done. And normally I've already gotten those things done by this time of the year. And because I don't have them done, because of the way my mind has been lately, I can't concentrate. Um, it bothers me. It's bothering me. And Jeff still hasn't figured out what to do about the wood coming off into the pans. It's just wood, but I always rinse my pans because of it. The whole entire stove has stuff on it. What has happened? Who did something in here? But I have slept better the last couple nights. So that's good. I don't know if I've already told y'all that yet or not. I don't know what I've told y'all. Other than I'm a bit wacko today. But yeah, they came got Marcus. And... Noah will be home in about an hour. So I just need to get some stuff started for supper. I don't need all of this sausage though. Dog is having a fit. Oh my goodness. I wonder if it started thundering. I haven't heard any thunder. Or was it you walked by? That's why they're having a fit. Can you put this in there and put it back in the refrigerator? Or I got biscuits, sausage. Um, what else do we want to do? Yeah. Egg, grits. Okay, we're gonna have just like a traditional breakfast then. Yeah. Okay. Eek, I almost dropped the knife. I probably should have got something else to put under this sausage, but that's all right. You want to grab the grits? We do our grits in the microwave. Every time. Even though they're not like instant grits. That's just the way we do it. Why did we start doing that, Jeffrey? <laughs> probably because of me. I probably started trying to take a shortcut. sausage my patty sausage to be thinner than what Jeff likes his so I try to make a couple pieces like thin and then the rest of it normal because they like theirs normal right Jeffrey what is normal? well like whatever like you know I don't know what normal is I'm saying like what what you get whenever you get it pre patted out or whatever. <clears throat> I just like mine thinner because I like it to be crispier. I don't know why. It's just the way I like it. Will you throw that away? Ew. And I forgot to turn on the dishwasher last night. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to ask you about that last night. I forget. You were going to ask about what? What were we going to ask about it? If you want to turn it on. Oh. Neither one of us remember. I need to wash my hands too. This is why I didn't get rid of the rag yet. I knew I would need it again.
Will you come and put this Christmas stuff up? The plates and stuff. Okay, so we got this sausage started. We got the oven preheating. And I'm going to do the grits. Not yet, but soon. And the eggs don't take long either. And um, we're going to make a grocery list for... I don't know if I said this already, but anyway, I've already tried to start this video a couple times and I've all over the place, so I don't know what I've said to y'all. So if I repeat myself, forgive me. Y'all know that I am crazy, so I repeat myself a lot. But, boy. <laughs> anyway, my battery's about to die, so I'm really crazy right now because I'm looking at the blinking light. I hate it. Um, but... <laughs> We're going to make a grocery list, and tomorrow, Jeff and I are going to Darlene's, and we're going to wherever else we need to go to get groceries. And I'm going to talk to him about possibly going ahead and buying um, whatever we need for as long as we can. I don't know exactly how we're doing things, and the pantry challenge is not to get rid of stuff so much as getting rid of stuff that we really just want to replace with a better option that's what the pantry challenge is so i'm gonna change the battery and i'll come back in just a little bit okay so i've got the sausage in the pan i got the biscuits in the oven i got the grits in the microwave and i'm about to take these leftover potatoes and i'm gonna put them in some butter and olive oil on the paint on the stove top and i'm gonna just like a crispy hash or whatever you want to call it there's onion Sweet potato and regular potatoes, russet potatoes, in this bowl. And I'm just going to put them in here to let them crisp up, heat through. I might put a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Try not to splash it all over me. But I don't want them to waste, so I'm going to like just crisp them up a little bit for tonight to eat them up. And um, I've done this before whenever we had leftover potatoes and it turned out pretty good. I mean, and they're fast and easy. You could go ahead and cook up some potatoes and have them in the freezer like this, ready to go. But I'm gonna let those cook. And the grits, it's just grits, salt, pepper, no. We, I didn't put any pepper in them. I should have, I will. Uh, salt, pepper, butter, water, and then we'll put cheese in them um, before that we eat them. And I will put a little bit of salt and pepper on these potatoes because leftovers usually need a little extra seasoning for some reason in my view. But I'm not going to put a lot of salt, but I didn't salt them a lot the day I cooked them. But I did put herbs on them. So they have flavor. But just gonna be a quick, simple supper. This is what this looks like so far. The sausage is almost done. It's getting real close anyway. The biscuits have a little over two minutes left. And um what I'll do is I'll just turn the oven off and let everything stay in the oven to keep warm. Because it'll be a few more minutes before Noah gets home. But we gotta clean off the table. Well, it's cleaned off, but wipe it down and set it. That's what I mean when I say clean off the table. Did you wipe the table already though? No, okay. So, we gotta do that. Um, I don't know what I'll talk to them about. Do you? We gotta make a grocery list. We're going shopping tomorrow. I think I told them that. We made the menu plan, but I did want to talk to y'all about a menu plan. We make menu plans every week, which this time we made it for the whole month of January. But that doesn't mean we have to eat what's on that day. Um, there are certain days that I chose certain things because Jeff is going to be on, he'll be home all day. 
So that means he can grill or something. Now I can grill, but he usually doesn't. It's not that I can't use the grill, but um, I did choose certain things like that that we will probably most definitely have on those days. And my nose is itching like crazy, but I'm not touching food anymore with this hand until I wash it, so that's okay. I scratched my nose. But anyway, um, the menu plan is just a guide. It's not a definite, you gotta have this on this night kind of thing. It's a guide, so don't ever feel like you have to stick to the menu plan if you want something different. Like tonight, we had something else on the menu plan. And we didn't really know when they were gonna come get Marcus. And we didn't know, we didn't take it out of the freezer. So we, we just decided we don't want that, we're not gonna worry about it, we're not gonna do that. So we decided that we were gonna change it up. And if they would've been longer to get him, then if he was still here right now, I would be cooking something he enjoyed. Let me wash my hands. I had put them in there for 10 minutes. It said 10 to 12, so I wanted to make sure and check them at 10. But anyways, if for some reason Marcus would have still been here, I would have been making something that he ate. But since he's already gone home, I decided to do breakfast because breakfast is always a good fallback meal and it's always an easy thing for me anyway. I don't mind making breakfast for dinner. Um, so that's how we ended up with what we're having is because of that. But menu plans are guides. They're not you've got to have this on this day. It's not that type of thing. And I gotta turn this off because I have. Now I like my sausage like that. Let's see. Get it. If it'll focus on it. I like them like brown and crispy. But um, some people don't like them like that. But anyway, I don't even know what I said. But I'm just trying to tell you, menu plans don't have, they're not set in stone. It's okay if you change it up. If you decide that you don't want spaghetti on Tuesday, you can have tacos. If you decide that you don't, I mean, they, they both use the same kind of meat. If you've already taken the meat out. If, it's, they're, you're restricted by your own self. That's, that's the whole thing. And we're always changing up what we have. It's a guide for us. And I know I've said that several times. And it's annoying me that I've said it several times. But I'm trying to explain what we do. But I can't get it out. So let me try it this way. We'll put it on the monthly menu. Or monthly calendar in my planner. We'll put it all on there. I put it all down. Oh, it's been two minutes. And then, by the week, if you guys watch my planner videos, my happy planner ones, you know that I put a, that's not the right way, I put a menu sticker down. On that sticker is where I put what we actually ate. That means that we might have had pork chops written down on Thursday in the actual monthly planner, but we might have had hamburgers. But, on, you know, it, it's just, maybe I'll try to show y'all one day. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm making sense, and I don't, I don't think these are, I don't know. They're not as pretty as they were last time. I'm gonna turn them around. And let them cook for another minute or two. Let's do two more minutes. Maybe I made sense. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe you can like tell me to try again or something. Because I don't feel like I'm making sense. I'm not making sense to me, so I'm probably not making sense to y'all. Jeffrey, come help me explain this. No. No? No, no, I'm not making sense. Well, come help me explain it. My brain is not functioning. Well, you're gonna explain it like six times. Yeah, I know, so. but did I explain it in any time that made sense? Some of it might get cut out, so they may never even see it. Yeah. Yeah, what? You explained it. 
I, did I make sense at all? Because yep. I just don't feel like I made sense to you. Okay, but you've known me a long time. <laughs> anyway, supper's almost done. No, we'll be here in a little bit. Hey, we need to check the macaroni, not mm -hmm. macaroni, grits. <laughs> See, I don't even know what I'm talking about. What kind of cheese do we want? There's a piece of cheddar and a piece of um jack, whatever that is. We'll put that in there. And um, maybe some pepper jack. Have we ever had pepper jack cheese in it before? You don't know? I don't know either. We just like cheese in our grits. Good. They're going to go back in for a minute anyway. I think these taters are done. I think I need to turn them down or off or something. Can you check the biscuits? Uh, no, a biscuit. A biscuit. Biscuit. I'm in the way. What are you doing? Are they not done? Uh, don't look like Can you take them out? Let's look closer because um, I don't know why. They, they're not browning, but if they cook anymore, they're gonna be hard. Just turn it off and turn, well, turn the timer off for sure. And we'll just put things in the oven to keep it warm. Have we ever put pepper jack cheese in our grits before? Yeah, I know, but did you answer? Nope. No, you didn't answer? Nope, I don't know. I'm losing it. I am losing my mind. I think we need more water. What is it? What? <laughs> it's watching me destroy the grits. <laughs> Nothing, honey. Nothing, honey. That's a cereal. Yeah, it needs more water. You want to put these back in there for a minute? That absorbed every bit of that water I just put in there. A minute, seriously. A minute. Do you want me to cut up any kind of vegetable or anything? Nope. Okay, so this is a wreck of a crazy video, but I'll show you what supper looks like after it's on the table. Okay, so there's eggs for Noah, and Jeff has eggs too. And then here's the grits. They need to be stirred up again because they've sat there for a few minutes. But they're cheesy. Ooh, they may be too cheesy. There's the biscuits and the sausage and those potato leftovers turned into yumminess. Well, they were yummy before, but they're just a little bit different. So that's dinner okay guys I know this video was just our supper but 
while that I am able to function properly with my desk stuff, I need to do it because that takes a lot of brain power and I haven't had a lot of brain power lately. Lately, it's just been me going through the motions of what I have to do that are this easy, like clothes, dishes, clean the bathroom, whatever, you know, that kind of thing that I don't have to actually put any kind of thought or plans into. I've been doing the easy stuff and usually I have my year kind of closed out and new plans for the next year done like a week ago. But because I have not been able to stay on task, because I have not been able to function properly with that part, I just I haven't done it. I've ignored it. Well, not ignored it, but I've just not tried to do it because I knew I wouldn't be able to. But the last couple of days, because I've probably, probably because I've gotten better sleep, I have been able to do it. So I'm going to just go ahead and get that stuff done. Tomorrow, I will be sharing a grocery haul with you guys. And, um, like today is the 30th. Tomorrow's the 31st. This stuff should be done. That's just how it is. But tomorrow is Saturday. It's supposed to be sheet day. I'm not washing sheets because I just put those on. Whenever we purchased them, I washed them and put them on. It hasn't even been a week and it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. I am still going to wash towels. Thought about going ahead and doing that tonight. But probably won't, honestly, because then the washing machine will probably distract me. <laughs> but anyway... Um, I'm fine. In fact, I'm, my, my brain is functioning a little bit better. Pro it's probably because I got sleep. But I want to go ahead and sit down with Jeff and get some stuff figured out. Or more things figured out. We've figured out some things and I want to get more things figured out. Because it's supposed to already be done. And I know not everybody does the things that I do. Like keeping up with the budget and all that stuff. And they don't close out the year and they just keep going with it. But with me, I want to go ahead and have all of 2022 put away by 2023. And filed away. So, that's my goal. To get that done before tomorrow night is over. So maybe I can get it done. But we're going grocery shopping tomorrow. So that means we've got to make a grocery list tonight. We've got part of one already. And, um, I don't know if I said this, and if I repeated myself a bajillion times, I'm sorry. If this video has been super choppy because I cut a lot of things, I'm sorry. Because I know I repeated myself a lot. But, um, we're not trying to, with our pantry challenge, just get rid of foods. We're trying to get the stuff that's not as healthy for you out and replace with the better like i said with less high fructose corn syrup less of all these other things that we just don't want anymore but i will see you guys tomorrow i hope this video is okay and if for some reason it wasn't i'm sorry <laughs> but i will see you tomorrow i'm, I'm okay y'all don't worry about me because this is a shorter video i'm okay it's just I have my mind on desk things and I don't share that with y'all. So let me get that done and then I'll be back <laughs> with the other things and I don't have to think about the things as much. I don't know if y'all do it or not, but I know a lot of people close out one year to start a new one and I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I do hope you enjoyed this in some way. Even if you just got a couple of laughs. And uh, maybe you got something sensible out of it. I don't know. It's probably very unlikely. But um, share with me how you do at the end of the year to start a new year. Do you do anything at all? Um... And if you did like this video, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't like it, do them anyway because I promise there will be better times <laughs> where I'm sharing better things. <laughs> I don't know. Well, supper was good, so I can't say it was better things because supper was good. But 
I did learn one thing. I don't love pepper jack cheese in my grits. I like pepper jack cheese a lot, but I don't think I love them in my grits. It was okay though. Jeff liked it. Noah not so much either. So, yeah. And Noah likes pepper things. But anyway, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. Our weather is rainy, but it is warmer. Last week we were freezing. Now it's spring. What? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. That's all I can say. But again, thank you for hanging out with me. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.